Hey babes, hello, hello, hello. So I just woke up and my asthma, but um, I woke up to seeing a lot of drama happening. Um, apparently another true crime channel used pictures of a beautiful baby that has been brutally <sighs> murdered and was selling his pictures for three dollars <laughs> Now, there's a thin line between love and hate. And I'm not here to attack anybody. But I, I woke up to see an, an apology that didn't feel like an apology. The video was edited and clipped and spliced. She was reading. And it was, it just did not feel authentic. It felt like, oh shit, I've been caught. Instead of, you know, oh my God, I made a mistake, you know. But at what point would that be considered a mistake? Like, that's a child. That's a baby. Brutally murdered. And you're sitting there selling pictures? Of his autopsy? Are you serious? Now, I actually seen her channel back when Ryan Upchurch popped up on the true crime with Kylie. I personally did not watch that channel only because I can't do those three, four, five hour lives. I, I'm just, I can't. Um, Every now and then, maybe like two times a year, I'll do it. But no, not for every day. So it wasn't my thing anyways. But then it pops up yesterday and this morning. And it's just... The true crime community does get a bad name, yes. But at the same time, most of us are just looking for the truth and justice. But in no possible way or shape or form does his autopsy being sold have anything to do with his justice or his truth. You took his dignity away. That is a baby, a minor, a child. That's not what we do here. And, and she knew that. And that's why she put it on the Patreon. So once again, you knew what you were doing. It's sad. Um, just thinking about it makes me want to cry, throw up. I'm shaking just thinking about this poor baby's parents. I mean, now... Don't get me wrong. If it was like uh, Chris Watts after he done what he done... And, and he got messed up in jail. Just like poor baby Gannon. Go ahead, sell that all day long. I don't care. I don't care. Why? Because there's a thin line between love and hate. I don't care about that. I care about the babies. I have the hardest time dealing with true crime when it comes time to the babies. You want to piss me off? It's the babies. You understand? Now, this ain't about me. I'm just saying, I couldn't believe this drama. You know? Um, I'm just glad I wasn't, like, attached to her or anything like that. You know? <clears throat> this is why I stay in my own lane. Um, because you never know what somebody else is going to do. And it, it could fall back on you. You know? So... I don't know. I just feel like it was very distasteful. It was 
premeditated. You knew exactly what you were doing. Um, the apology was not an apology. You were reading it. It wasn't sincere. It wasn't genuine. You, you were clipping and splicing, which tells me, you know, you, you, you may have said a few things. and But like, mm, maybe that don't sound too right. You clipped it out. Just didn't come off, off as authentic and true. And... Um, as a person that strives every single day to be her authentic self, no matter who accepts me or don't, it, it makes me upset that people can just, oh, I'm sorry, all done, okay? No, no, that's not cool. Um, Yuck. Yuck. So, once I can catch my breath, <clears throat> I'm going to take care of all my animals. It's raining out. It's a yucky day. It's muggy. Um, usually it takes me about an hour and a half to get every animal situated. Um, <clears throat> and then I wake up the baby. So, I do have a busy day today with personal readings. Um... You guys can book personal readings with me, but I'm not taking that many as I used to, only because um, I used to overbook myself and I had no time for myself. So yeah, um, just email me. If you have any questions, email me. Um, I, I do want to do, I want to do two ITCs today, but they're going to be separate videos, so you're not going to get them both today. Um, yeah, Zav girl, do better, please. That's disgusting. Mm.